Okay, this is my third attempt at actually making this video. That's why I'm a little farther in. Uh, hopefully my voice is loud enough. I'm not entirely sure. I am a guy, as you can tell. I, my voice is deep as hell, but I'm actually in a team. These are traps, they're rather deadly. Okay, we got a new on here. This I'm using a bash type weapon, I am a Doramon. This is the Marvel 4, I should have said that at the beginning, I apologize. Even though it's gonna be in the title anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna die here, because I'm like dead and I have no healing others. Yeah, you die really fast in this game, as it is ridiculously hard, even on normal mode. I was saying this is a bash type weapon. Bash weapons are katanas and graves. Graves are dual wielding swords. They're inaccurate, but they do decent damage. I'm avoiding these because these will kill me instantaneously. Okay, A is to attack, and this is uh, which can do the A button. It's a charge attack. I cannot show everything right now as I am almost dead. Oops, I'm a little bit inaccurate. I'm using the Dolphin Emulator with this game. I actually do have a hard copy of this game, but I don't have a capture card, so I cannot record it off my GameCube. Leveling up in this game is rather difficult. I'm swords at the very beginning with enemies and impossible. Okay, that is bits. Bits is money. I'm going to explain the menu real quick. Top left is a facial sh facial uh, facial shot of the original. This game was not on shelf very long, that's why not many people probably know about it. It was on shelf for I think they think reports said a month and a half, but it was taken off shelf because it wasn't selling very good. Uh, HP, MP, those are probably self-explanatory. Well, MP is pretty much for Pokemon fans. It's PP for the. Final Fantasy people or something, it's TP, it's the same bloody thing. Strength and defense, self-explanatory for what they do. Uh, wisdom, I believe, is the attack power of your magic attacks. I cannot show you one right now because I have too low MP to use it. Because it takes 20 something and I have 12 left. Spirit is the effects the amount of MP you actually have. Some of you may say it's wisdom because they match the same number, but I do not believe it is. If I am wrong, I apologize. Speed is, does not speed up your attack itself. It just makes you hit them more often than them blocking. Because if you saw, I was blocked quite a bit. Resistance, they're pretty much, I think everyone knows what those are. Fire, ice, lightning, and dark, that's in order. Data, I'll get to a little later. Okay, the equipment folder is this stuff. I will show these other two weapons probably in this video a little later time. Uh, armor slot. I have a piece of armor. You don't actually start with one. You have to find one or buy one. I actually found one. I'll show what my stats would normally be. That is what my stats would normally be if I did not have it on. Red means it goes down, or orange, whatever you want to call that. Blue means it goes up. Uh, sub slot, these are boards, or filter boards, or something. They're kind of like units in Fantasy Star, if you know what that, those are, like Fantasy Star Online, the units. It's exactly like that. Except they can all. Oh yeah, like, you know, I'm wrong, that's the wrong thing there. They, they are exactly like the units in Fantasy Star Online. Mods. As you can see, the armors and weapons can get mods, but I don't have any of those mod slots. But these do, they can give you weapons elemental attack base, which you actually need to do because there are two like walls in this game that can only be broken a certain way. One is by fire, which is the one you have a more likely chance of seeing, because once I actually get a capture card, I will not be doing this on the Dolphin Emulator as it is now. I'd actually be doing this on hard copy. And there's a fire door, and in the fourth level, there's only four levels in this game, but they're near impossible to get through. And to beat this game, you pretty much have to be level 35, at least. 
This game has multiple difficulties. You unlock the next difficulty for beating the game, but you then have to start from the beginning of that difficulty, but you keep your weapons, your armor, and your level, and your experience and your money. You keep all that. Anyway, there's those. Uh, more slots is like up your speed, up your defense, resistance, all that. Uh, folders, device folder is what I was just in. Key folder, these are ID cards or something. You might see one at the end of this video, you might not, I'm not sure. This folder, these are healing items, I will let you read these. What it means by cannot be removed all at once is you might have to use more than one cure disc. I have done that, and more like, it happens more often than not on the last boss. What they mean by backup chips, if you guys couldn't figure that out, is uh, that they appear after you die. When you die, you lose, I think it's 30% of your experience and all your money. If you're playing one player like I am, you can die and come back in the level and use a raise disc on your own backup chip, and you will get everything you lost back. If you're playing with more than one person, which you will not see on my computer, is that uh, you can revive them. Because when they die, they're out. You have to revive them or go back. Uh, this game's a one-screen game. It's not split-screen, so it's kind of annoying. Put the multiplayer on. Gate disc returns you to the main hub, where everything is. You will see that eventually, probably soon or rather than later. Recovery, best healing item. B pack stands for battle pack. There's cards. I think there's 105. I may be wrong. Once you get them all, though, you can get it. You get a Digivolution form. Keychains. You get nine of them. You can trade it with a Prince of Mamimon in the main hub. You will probably see that in the next couple of episodes when I can find them. Bits folder is how much money you have. You can use this. You can. Uh, if you're playing more than one person, there's no reason to use this because you can give them money. Uh, the device folder is what all these are, and these two are not equipped, but I can't equip them right now. Equipping is annoying in this game with weapons, you cannot do it in the field. Uh, techniques. I actually don't have any of these, that's what Digimon I am, which also appears below the name. The name is just you can name your Digimon at the beginning of the game, it doesn't matter. And now, if I even remember, I don't even think the name pops up, ever, in the conversations. There's no voice acting except for sound effects. I'm getting hit. Okay, I don't have Doramon now, but you can get other ones. Some of the more known ones is more Greymon, Agumon, uh, War Greymon. No, not War Greymon. Sorry, my bad. War Garurumon. There's an extremely revamped two-legged version of Metal Garurumon as one, and that list just goes on. Uh, if I can get to it, I will use one of the uh, other level Digivolve forms. Uh, techniques, these are... Uh, okay, these... Everything up to Blast is a type of weapon. And each character, each Digimon has their own special start. You can start with a Doramon, an Agumon, a Gilmon, or a Vimon. This is off memory, I might be wrong. Uh, Doramon start gets uh, bash weapons, which are katanas or graves, like I was explaining. Uh, Geomon gets stab. Vimon starts with slash, and Agumon goes with blunt. What that does is their tech levels up a lot faster if you use their main weapon. Plus, all the weapons that they that they normally can use, you can't use because you're Type not high enough. It's hard to explain. You can use any weapon in the game, but it's good to stick with your main weapon because uh, the strongest weapons for each of the starting Digimon in the game have to deal with their weapon type. Actually, all the best weapons in the game have to deal with weapon types. And there's only one Digivolution form that can shot as its main weapon. That is the Alzamon. You will probably never see that because I haven't even gotten out on the GameCube before. I believe Crush only has one as well, which is Wargaruma. 
the War Dream on, sorry. And actually, I wide shot, I believe Metal Guru one is also a shot. Uh, what these three are, are techs you can get. The actual things you can use. Blast, everyone starts with a blast tech. I will explain those later. Heal, uh, you don't get a healing one very often. We get one later on at like level 12 or something, and force, I don't see them very often. And P tech, these are what you can get. This list says you can get up to like, one, two, three, five of them, but I've only ever gotten three. Plus, there is a way you can rank them up. They come petty, but I have no idea how to do that. And that's explaining the menu. Now I'll actually get some fighting in because I've done a lot of stuff in this, so there's not much fighting left to do. I'll explain items as they drop. Their traps are freaking deadly. I may swear on occasion, I am sorry if that offends you, but I am 18 and I am used to talking like that. Okay, uh... There was earlier on I hit a switch. You know what? I'm going to show you where the switch was. Not many people would have this game, but if you ever plan to actually get this game, you're going to want to go to like an anime convention, or get it off eBay or something, or get the ISO like I have right now. This switch opened up something I'm going to show you in a minute. There's a bunch of boxes around here, you can break them, they drop them. These are useless and they're also breakable. As I just showed you. This game has good music, and if you remember from my Fantasy Star video, you'd recognize some of these songs. None of these ones I don't believe though, because I did not use this level for an OGG pack. But that switch did. See this patch of ground? It made this wall breakable. And that box usually drops something good. This time I wasn't so lucky. Yeah, yeah. Security hole, blah, blah, blah. But these dudes, if you use the gate disc here... Uh, shit, how do I get down there? Uh, give me a second here, I don't remember how I set these controls up. Oh, right. I didn't set the D-pad up, that's how you do this. Uh, give me a minute, I'm gonna cut the set the D-pad up. Okay, I didn't set up the D-pad, it turns out the way that they have it set up is actually pretty good. And there's a gate disc, you use them on here. Yeah, 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 load, load, load. You come here, what the gate discs do is it enables you to go back through this portal to exactly where you used it, except you can only use it on those blue panels that was on. This is the main hub, there are multiple areas. It's kinda confusing. This is a this is a healer. It is very handy indeed. Now you can see the green bar is my health and the purple bar is my magic. You go into this portal to uh to into every level, there's only four. This one goes into the command room. Kind of pointless, because you really ever go in there. Okay, down here, we have the shop area. This is where everything is to buy, which is usually where you want to be. If you have money and you don't have any hand lands, this is where you want to go. You can also buy weapons here, armors and stuff like that. Not, nothing really hard. Can we go buy me some healing items, because I'm out. I wish I could only buy two, it sucks, but you're rather broke at the beginning of this game. There is a glitch in this game to make more money easily, but I need a second Digimon. I do not have one. Weapon shop, self-explanatory. Also, the uh, type your uh, Digimon specialty is the uh, also the weapons you can buy from the shop. Armor shop, that's self-explanatory. And up here is the unit shop, which has the like, battle chips and shit, which is used for mods. That yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. It's pointless. This video's got to be getting close to 15 minutes, if not past it. So uh, I'm gonna have to uh, cut this off in a second. Now I'm gonna show you this guy. You talk to. Whoops, wrong button. Y jumps, by the way. B blocks and attacks and talks. Now he wants you to give him money. It gets expensive because at one point he wants like five million. But do it, it's worth it. It's how you can buy your best weapons and it, you can get some really good stuff. Actually, there was one item you actually need that you can only buy from him. You need it in third level though, which you might see if I get far enough. I'm not sure if I will. Now, uh, I'm gonna probably cut it here.